when it comes to thinking about winning and losing, I often think about sports and two football teams competing at the end of the year. Who's won the most matches? If we think about the League of Nations in the 1920s, their season record would be somewhat mixed. They have an equal number of wins and an equal number of losses. So, were they successful? Hi, this is Mr. Trio, and today we are taking a look at our third video in the series, To What Extent Was the League of Nations a Success? This focus point is our second one, which is, how successful was the League in the 1920s? Now, when we think about the work of the League of Nations in the 1920s, we have to think about how they were facing a lot of challenges, and especially they were trying to rebuild Europe after the Great War. And that meant that what they wanted to do is tackle those issues which dealt with things like domestic issues. But there were other issues as well, such as poverty, slavery, disarmament, health issues, and how to secure more finances for Europe. In a way, they felt if they could get enough of these things completed, then there would be world peace. And I don't want to diminish the work that the League did in the 1920s, and our textbook does certainly a nice job of outlining many of the things that they did in the commissions and different committees that were formed. But at the end of the day, in the 1920s, they were major problems. What wasn't working? There are two major things that we're going to focus on in this video today. Two concepts, which are major powers and outside groups. We're going to take a look at three of the most important events that are taking place in the 1920s, how the League addressed them, and how, in some cases, the League was basically a bystander in an organization that did nothing to help or hurt the situation. Now, these three events, once again, are outlined very nicely in our book, but what I'd like to do in our video series is talk about larger big idea concepts. If we look at Vilna in 1920, it is a major dispute between Poland and Lithuania. Poland believes that Vilna should be under the control of Poland because a vast majority of the people in Vilna are of Polish descent. They thus appeal to the League of Nations and ask for this territory to be given to them, in which the League of Nations says no. So instead of just accepting the League of Nations as the international body that kind of governor, governs these things, they go to another group called the Conference of Ambassadors. And the Conference of Ambassadors agree with them. And then Vilna is given to Poland. So in this particular case, Poland goes to an outside group when they discover that they can't get what they want from the League of Nations. And the League of Nations is a bystander. And it really shows the weakness of the League, how their authority and their power is not respected by those in the European community. Now, what happens in 1923 in the Ruhr is very different because France is angry with Germany because they are not paying the reparations that they're supposed to be paying. So France decides to send troops to Germany and just take them. Now, in this particular case, this is a major power, France, getting what it wants. And because France is one of the major leaders of the League of Nations, the League of Nations stands aside and does nothing. In Corfu, we have the exact same issue. Italy essentially is angry with Greece because of a small dispute that takes place between the two countries. And essentially, Italy bullies Greece into paying reparations. Once again, the League of Nations does nothing to actually present prevent this. So that is essentially what we are discussing here in to what extent was the League of Nations a success in the 1920s? The major issues that I want to leave you with today is that there are many successes that the 1920s brings to the League of Nations. But the big issues at the core is that the League 
is weak. And because of that, when things get more difficult in the 1930s, the league will really show how it is not prepared to address world peace issues. Thanks for joining me, and we'll discuss more in class.